Penny has the first case. Okay. Yes, let me see. Okay, so the first case, Janet, a well-known high street shop has launched a plus-size range of clothing for children as young as three. But is plus-size clothing for kids helpful or harmful? I would personally say it was harmful because by labelling a child your fat, your oversized, is going to be a stigma. They're probably picked on maybe because they're bigger or different to those at school. So I think you just buy the next size up rather than actually labelling that child oversized. Yeah, okay. I agree. I feel like if you're in PE or dance and you're getting changed and the other kids see there's like a plus size label or something, that would be the first thing that you pick on because kids are just mean like that sometimes anyway. And you don't really want to mm. put a label on a size. Why not just go up? Exactly. The size yeah. Well, uh, apparently, the, the like an age three plus fit pair of trousers, it's got a waistband which is five centimetres larger than standard so it's not necessarily going the next size up which may be for taller children yeah. per se but it, they're just slightly bigger around the waist now the, the the company the clothing company that's brought this out has three different types of fits which is slim wide and plus do you think a child is really going to notice whether a label says my little ones would my, my five-year-old six-year-old when they go shopping with me he likes to sort of pick his you know style and he would notice if if it was, uh, you know, a plus size or a or a skinny size because of mm -hmm. fashion, and I think, you know, if a larger child yeah. feels that they can't be fa fashionable because they can't wear skinny trousers, it's it just makes things awkward. But it's, uh, again, sorry, just to put, um, I'm I'm like your assistant, I suppose, Jan, <laughs> just so you can get a balanced view on yeah. this. Yeah. Um, Tam Fry, chief executive of the National Obesity Forum, says uh, this company isn't setting a new trend. They're catering for the market. Mothers want to clothe their larger children and they can't find the clothes for them so they respect they are responding to a current state of affairs the, pro the, the the issue is already there surely they're just responding to it they're normalizing it aren't they yeah you know, that's the problem do you think so I think so. I think it's kind of normalising it a bit because it's like, well, now you can, you don't have to worry about it. It's all there for you. You don't even have to battle the problem. You okay. just go for it. <laughs> Judge Jared. I'm out of being neutral. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I think plus size clothes. I agree with Tan Fry. It is not accepting the situation, but the situation is grotesque. Yes. That one child in four is, or something, one in four or one in five is obese, but yeah. before they're ten years old. So you've got to go right back to basics. First of all, I would like one school uniform for the entire country. Mm -hmm. So parents, there's only one. You make us like North Korea or China, whatever. Stick them all in the same uniform, and then all. A lot of bullying would stop, but yeah, I yeah. am not in favour of plus size clothes for kids. Right. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, I'd like some incentive for the kids to lose weight, okay. but that would have to be directed at the mothers. Okay. And that's a different case, Judge I know, Janet. I've slightly moved the goal, you, goal you post have. per <laughs> usual. Right. The second case is uh, regarding gift lists for toddlers. Is it savvy or stupid? This has come about because a furious aunt was told to buy her two-year-old niece a birthday present from a gift list, and she was told not to bother if she wasn't going to stick to it. So, do we think <laughs> gift lists for toddlers, is it a good idea or a bad idea? And insisting <sighs> that they have to go from the gift list is a bit... bit, a bit well, not to say, no, well. that, uh, yeah. that's And, and when, when there's prices and you kind of, you know, if... Um, if everybody gets together and puts money together for one gift, maybe, that was a good idea. But I know with my, my kids, when they go to parties, I often say to the mum, is there anything in particular they like? So it's sort of helpful, but yeah. to force a list on someone um, is a bit Can much. I just ask you a question? Yes, go ahead, Janet. All right, you're married to a multi-millionaire. If you ring up another mum and say, does your kid need anything, is it she's just going to choose something really expensive? No, because I think mothers are very sensible that there's, it doesn't matter who you are, there's, there's that kind of, you know that it's going to be 10, 15 pounds across the board and that applies to everybody yeah okay. i feel like a list can be helpful for me anyway when i'm buying my friends kids presents i'm like could you send me what you may need so okay. then i can go from the list and be like okay they need a bike because their bike broke and then you can kind of tick that off in that case but when somebody's demanding i'm like, giving you my kids, kids. you have to a bike's very very expensive okay maybe not <laughs> if someone said to me my kid would like a bike i'd just say get over it <laughs> <laughs> Um, so what? Can it, uh, I'd like a Maserati, <laughs> but I haven't got one. <laughs> Andrea, can, can I borrow this? Can I borrow this for a second? Yes. Order.
in the corner. Stop interrupting. There's a <laughs> problem. No, no, I, I, know, I know it's hard to be a judge, all right? You can say what you need to say now. I don't need to say anything. Just, you're supposed to sit quietly and listen to all the arguments and then <laughs> give, <laughs> give a reason for coming down. You're, you're coming... That's why I am not Judge Rinder. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Miss I mean, McLean, would you like to su well, I would make like, your submission? My submission is that two years old seems slightly young in terms of handing out a gift list mm. and insisting that you stick to it. I do think when mums give out invitations, normally we all ring each other up and text each other to say, is there something in particular that, you know, little Johnny or, or whatever is into? Because it's not necessarily that they need. It's normally a, 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 a treat. And there's normally some sort of price limit to that. So my thought is that it is too young to introduce a gift list for toddlers. Okay. I'd be interested to hear the judge's opinion on this. <laughs> Two is definitely too young. <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> My solution? Get a big plastic bucket and chuck a few coins in on the way in. <laughs> <laughs> Done. But that does actually make sense. Yeah. Everybody's happy. <laughs> Just have a collection and then nobody knows what you gave. Yeah. It's more de democratic. OK, so rather than, say, giving cash and then everybody knows how much you've given, just yes. chuck it all in a bucket? Yeah, just have a bucket and wow. throw it in. Like Obviously, a collection. You throw it Anonymous. In. <laughs> If you throw in a note, it's going to flutter down rather yeah. than clunk. clunk. It's going to be really <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs>